subcutaneous injections. One of the medications that we can give subcutaneously is insulin, and you saw that being drawn up in one of the other videos. So now once we have the medication all drawn up out of the vial of insulin, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to double check our dose one last time before we transition to giving it to our patient. Once we have that ready, we're going to transition to our patient. We need to make sure that we've washed our hands. If we were drawing it up outside the patient's room, we'll wash our hands once we get into the room, discuss with our patient what we're going to do. We're going to get them ready, so we're going to prep their site. Now the sites for the subcutaneous injection are any place we have an additional subcutaneous fat layer. The abdomen is a good site, the back of the arms, the outer thighs, and where what we would traditionally call the love handles. So what I'm doing is I'm scrubbing the skin for three to five seconds. We're going to pretend that this is his abdominal site. While this is drying, I'm going to get my gloves ready to give the injection. And something that's different between a subcutaneous injection and the intradermal injection that you may have watched before is that with a subcutaneous injection, the bevel orientation does not matter. We're going to use a darting motion. Once this is dry, you're going to take the needle cover off. You're going to hold the syringe like a dart. You're going to come and you're going to gently tent the skin up because you want to <clears throat> excuse me, bring the subcutaneous tissue up off the muscle layer underneath. So you're going to gently tent it up. I'm going to stabilize my hand right here. Now with subcutaneous injection will either go in at 90 or at 45 depending on the patient's subcutaneous fat layer. If you're going to lower the angle from 90, make sure that you're always parallel to these two fingers. My patient definitely has enough subcutaneous tissue so I'm going to go in at 90 degrees. I'm going to insert in. I'm going to come in and stabilize the syringe with my thumb and forefinger. I'm going to inject. You can either use your finger or your thumb. Inject slowly over three to five seconds. Once the medication is completely in, I make sure I stabilize again with my dominant hand. Bring my thumb and forefinger out. Remove the needle. Immediately do needle safety by covering it up. Check my patient. This is another injection where you may not massage the area because you'll alter absorption of the medication. You may lightly put a 2x2 two two or a band-aid over, but no massaging or rubbing the site. Once you know your patient is okay, the gloves can come off, the needle goes into the sharps container, I wash my hands, and I document the procedure. And that's subcutaneous injection.